Meal planning can be the perfect way to stay healthy, save time, and manage your spending. We believe Notion is the perfect tool because of its all-in-one capabilities. In this video, we wanted to give you a Notion tour of our meal planner and recipe book, Notion Template, which includes everything you need for meal planning, storing recipes, food journaling, inventory and price tracking, and more. If you find this video useful, be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Let's first start with an overview of this template. When you first download this, you'll notice that in the top section, we have all of your recipes and you can see them by tag, breakfast, lunch, dinner, appetizer, snacks, and more. Then there is the weekly meal planner here. And then you have your daily food journal where you can add daily food journal entries. And then on the left, we have an inventory list where you can see what items you have in your inventory as well as quick links to go to various parts of this meal planner, which we'll cover later. And then there is a linked database that we recommend you not to edit or delete, or this template is not going to work. There's also a button here for daily food journal entry so that you can easily add daily food journals. Let's start using this template by adding a new recipe. So when you want to add a new recipe, all you have to do is go to this top part here and click plus new on this button or with this blue button. So we're just going to click into here and let's say that our new recipe is something simple like avocado toast. So we can do something like this. And once you've made it, you can choose a rating for it if you wish and then what kind of meal it is. So for this one, it's breakfast. So we're going to put breakfast and the type is going to be a sort of sandwich or toast. And here you can start putting the ingredients and we highly recommend you to do it with these dashes so that you can later copy them easily. So this is going to be avocado. Then we also need bread and we need salt and pepper. And then underneath here, you can add instructions for this. How do you make this recipe? And then here you can add ingredient tags. And this is linked to your inventory list. So let's say that we're going to add a new inventory item, which is avocado. And you can do plus new. And we're going to add that in. So if we go back to avocado toast, we now have avocado inside here. The other thing we need to add would be bread. So we're just going to put bread and it doesn't exist yet. So this is another new inventory item. So we're gonna click in here to add bread. Then you can add the servings, calories, and a URL to the recipe if you wish. And then here you can also add web bookmarks if you want to add more information about this recipe. And we're gonna also go ahead and add a cover. This can also be your own photo, but we're just going to go to Unsplash and look for an avocado toast picture. And we'll just choose one like this. So basically we have our one recipe item here and you can add anything for breakfast, lunch, dinner, appetizer, snacks, and more. We also have drinks. So all kinds of recipes can fit in here. So next let's go ahead and add a new weekly meal plan. So all you have to do is click the plus new here or the new button up here. So we're just going to click plus new and open up the page. So here you'll want to add a start date. So let's say that we're going to start on April 1st and this is going to end on April 7th. So it's one week meal plan. And let's say our budget is 100. And later you can also calculate your actual and budget status. So here you can start your food planning. So we're going to go ahead and add an item. So we already added that avocado toast. So let's go ahead and add that in avocado toast. And then you also have to choose the correct recipe here. So this is avocado toast and automatically it loads up the serving information, ingredients, ingredient tags. And then here you'll want to add a meal tag. So this is for breakfast. And then you also want to add which day of the week you're going to eat this. So let's say we're going to put Monday, Wednesday, Friday and Sunday like this. And then you can see it in the week view. So now we see Monday, we have avocado toast on all of these days. So if you continue adding more, you could have a nice week view here that would be full of your meal plan. And now here you can see what's in my fridge now. And right now we only have apples in stock. So let's go ahead and go to our item view and you can actually just control click this and then copy command or control C and then paste this in. And all you have to do is highlight this and, and then turn them into checkboxes. So if we go to 
the to-do list, you can see that it's in checkbox form. We already have salt and pepper, so we're not going to buy those, but avocado and bread are something you'd need to shop for the week. So as you can see, if you just copy all your ingredients and paste them in, you'll have a shopping list for the whole week. And for this what's in my fridge, we actually have to update that in the inventory list. So for now, we're just going to keep it here. Then you can also have a to-do list, what you need to do for this meal plan. You need to go shopping and so on, as well as any notes, like how it went and so on. So let's go ahead and click out. The next thing we wanted to show is now the inventory list. So as you can see, we now added bread and avocado through our recipe. So here we are going to just put to buy and also for avocado we're going to buy to buy so we have to buy both of these because they're not in stock and if we went back to our meal plan now you can actually see if we go to to buy that we need to buy these items but in stock right now is only apples next let's go to my daily food journal and here you can basically add pictures of the food you eat so that you can visualize your meals and see how you're doing in terms of your health and what kind of foods you're getting. So let's say that we wanted to add a new daily food journal entry. You can simply click the plus button here. And for example, if we made that avocado toast, we can put like this and add a cover photo. So we're going to change cover, go to unsplash, and then we can choose a photo. Ideally, this would be the photo that you take of your actual meal. But since we don't have the picture, we're just going to put a picture here. Then you can do home cooked, meal type was breakfast, satisfaction, you were really happy with it, and how you felt afterwards. So this is a really good way to see what kind of reactions you have to food. So you were happy. And you can also tag it with the recipe. So we did it with the avocado toast. And you can even add all sorts of nutrition information as well. And if we click out and we go to this week, you can now visualize your food like this. And alternatively, you can also add a new entry through this button. So if we click it here, you can also add a new entry. But make sure to check all the dates and everything. And it should appear here. Next, let's go through all of our quick links. So recipe book, we already covered, but you can also access it through here. You can see view all breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, drinks, appetizer, dessert. And if you wanted to add, for example, recipe inside lunch, you can simply just click inside here and it will be automatically tagged. Then if we go back, we can also go to our weekly meal planner. And here we can also see this week and you can also add how much you actually spent. So for example, if the total was actually 110, you can see that your budget status is 110% and you can add a receipt. And you can also see this month and a view all. And now if we go back, we'll go to our daily food journal. Here as well, you can visualize your week, visualize your month. You can see everything this week that was home and takeout tags and then this week by feeling, and this week by satisfaction, and this week by nutrition. So there's a lot of ways you can track your daily food. Then we're going to go to our inventory list. And here we already showed you with the bread and avocado, but basically you do wanna also tag it with the type of food. So this is a kind of grain and seed. So we'll just put this, and then avocado is a fruit. So we'll put like this. And now if we go back, we can now go to the price tracker. So when you have a thing that you really want to track prices for, so let's say this is for apples. So if we wanted to add a new item to our price tracker, you can go and click new. So let's say that we bought more apples. So these were red delicious apples and you purchased them today and then you can choose where you purchased them let's say it was from costco you can put the ingredient tag apple how many you bought let's say we bought four apples and then you can put like a price per quantity so let's say one apple was two dollars you total paid eight dollars for it and then these were in pounds so in that way you can kind of track your prices so you can see where you can buy the cheapest ingredients or how the prices have changed. So if we go back, if we go ahead and go to our inventory list and open up apples, you can now see this price tracker here as well. So this month you bought it at this price and this was the total price you spent on it. Next, let's go to the conversions and calculator. So here we just included a basic kitchen converter and these charts to show 
how to convert. So for example, one tablespoon equals three teaspoons, which equals one sixteenth of a cup. So this can be really handy when you're cooking in the kitchen. There's also a basic calculator here, so you can multiply. So let's say we have 300, you multiply by three, the result is 900. So you can just easily 100 multiplied by two, do some basic calculations here. And then here we have a converter for degrees and the result. So let's say that we want to convert 10 degrees Fahrenheit to Celsius. It would be like this. And then the opposite here. So 10 degrees Celsius is 38 degrees Fahrenheit. This can be useful for oven temperatures. We also have a liquid converter and weight converter. So you can input, for example, if you wanted to check how many teaspoons to milliliters you could put 30 teaspoons is 147.9 milliliters and so on so this can be really handy and you can also switch them so if you wanted to convert in metrics it's here if you want to convert in imperial it's here and the same here so you just input the number inside here in each case so now if we go back we can now go to our allergy and intolerance list. So if you're often cooking for people and have a hard time remembering everyone's allergies, this can be a really great way to track it. Or if you have a family member who has lots of allergies and intolerances, you can also share them really easily. So let's say that we have someone with a nut allergy, and this is a very serious one. You can put serious, and then you can tag it with the person's name. Let's say that this applies to person C. And you can create a new person like this and change it to gray. And if we wanted to add a new tab for it, you can also just duplicate this. And you can rename this person C and change the filter so that it's only person C. So now you have person C's information. And if you wanted to share this for an upcoming dinner reservation or a dinner at someone's house, you can simply go to the three dots on the right hand corner and then you can actually simply export it as a PDF and include your current view. And it's going to show this as a chart that you can easily send to people. So we highly recommend this. Next, we're going to go to our themed menu planner. So. For theme menus, let's say that we have a dinner party coming up and this is going to be an Italian, Italian menu. So basically what you can do is this is a dinner menu. You can start adding recipes here. So let's say that it involves spaghetti, it involves garlic toast and so on. You could actually add them as recipes and then tag them here. But let's say that this Italian menu contained avocado toast as an appetizer. You could easily do that as well. Next, let's go to our restaurant and cafe list. So here you can track all of your restaurants that you want to go to and see what you want to go next. So if we go here into want to go, you can click plus new. And let's say that there's a new cafe here, new cafe, and you can add that it's a cafe. You can put the address, location tag, phone number, website, rating, cost level, tags, and if it's like a famous chef, you could also put that there. So you can do a lot of things in here as well. Next, we have the foodie bucket list. So here you can add some goals for the year for your eating. So let's say you only want to eat out however many times per month. You could also add something like that here. So you would put eat out, eat out only once a week and then Later, you can add how it went and check it off. Next, we have our tools and appliances list. So this is handy if you're trying to shop for new kitchen appliances. So let's say that you really want an air fryer. You could put it in your wish list and kind of track the price URL and how it went and also see what kind of items you've bought as well. So this can be a really cool thing you can share with other people if you want to share what kind of items you use for your cooking. And it's also a good way to share what kind of items you're looking for if someone's looking to buy you a gift. Thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in this template, the link's in the description. Let us know if you have any questions or comments and we hope to see you all in the next video.